Here is an integral battle. We have two integrals right here. The first one is the integral of sine of 2x over 1 plus cosine squared x. And the second one is the integral of sine of only x over 1 plus cosine squared x. And let me ask you guys, as you can see, they look really similar, right? But which one is easier than the other? Why don't you pause the video and give it a try? Alright, now let me go over this with you guys. In my opinion, this integral is easier. Why? Because I recognize this right here. This is 1 plus cosine squared x. And this means I have the parentheses with the cosine x inside and then to the second power. And we know the derivative of just cosine x is negative sine x. And we happen to have a sine x factor on the top. So they should be able to cancel each other out. That's very nice. And now let me put this down for you guys to show you what I mean by that. So I'm going to rewrite this integral as the integral on the top, it states the sine x over, on the bottom we have 1 plus. For the cosine square x, let me write this down as parentheses, cosine x, and then square, okay? And then don't forget to put on the dx. And now I'm going to integrate this by u substitution. I am going to let u equals to just the cosine x. Not to the second power though, I just want u to be cosine x. And then I can differentiate both sides. du will be, the derivative of this will be negative sine x, dx, right? And I want to show you guys the cancellations, so let's isolate the dx. We can do that by dividing both sides by negative sine x. So dx will be du over negative sine x. And now with all these ingredients, we can take this integral into the u world and we can finish it off there. This is going to be the integral on the top, we still have the sine x. Over, this is the 1 plus, and then for the cosine x, we set that to be u, so we will have u squared, and then for the dx is this, right? So we can put this down, du over negative sine x. And now as we can see, this sine x cancels out with this sine x precisely, right? So we can just get rid of them, and you see that this integral is completely in the u world. So we can totally integrate this. And to do so, be sure, let's take out the negative sign first. So we have the negative and the integral. This is pretty much 1 over 1 plus u squared. And then don't forget to put on the du. And now what? Well, we have to recognize this. What's the integral of 1 over 1 plus u squared? The answer to this is the inverse tangent u. So we will have negative, and this right here is inverse tangent of u. Right? But we're not done yet, because at the end, we still have to bring back our answer to the x world. So u is cosine x. I have to write this down as negative inverse tangent of cosine x. And then we are totally done. I can put plus c and box the answer. This is the answer for that integral. That's it. All right, now, how can we deal with this? Can I use the same exact strategy? Well, no, because in this case, if I let u is equal to cosine x, then the derivative is the negative sine x dx. This is not able to cancel with sine of 2x. And you see the trouble is that the input right here, they are not the same. The input for the sine is 2x, but then the input for the cosine is just an x. That's no good. So here's the idea. We should somehow make sure that they have the same input. How can we change that? Well, we recognize this. This is sine of 2x. This is just double angle, right? And fortunately, we have a double angle identity for the sine. So we're lucky. We can just use that, right? So let me write this down. This is going to be the integral. Sine of 2x is the same as 2 times sine x times cosine x. And you see, once we applied the double angle formula for the sine 2x, this and that are just x. And then everything, it will be just with x instead of the sine or cosine function. So let me write down the denominator, 1 plus cosine squared x, d 
dx. And now what? Can we finish this with substitution? Yes, you have two ways to do it. First way, you can still let u to be just cosine x. Do it like this, very similar. But I want to show you, I'm going to choose to let u equals to the whole denominator. Let me write it down, 1 plus cosine squared x. And why do I do that? Because when I differentiate this, I get du is equal to the derivative of 1 is 0, so it doesn't matter. What's the derivative of cosine squared x? Well, first we have to bring the 2 to the front. And then the inside right here stays the same for now. So I will write this down, cosine x. I'm looking at cosine squared x in this form. I bring the 2 to the front, and then the inside stays the same. Okay. However, because of the chain rule, the chain rule says we have to multiply by the derivative of the inside function. So the derivative of inside function is negative sine x, right? The derivative of cosine x is negative sine x. By the chain rule, we multiply by negative sine x. And then we are done. But then this is about differential, so we should put down a dx. And now, you see, this is pretty much the same as the one on the top. They cancel out pretty much precisely. Let me isolate the dx so we can see the cancellation much better. So, dx will be du, and we pretty much divide this on both sides, right? And let me put down the negative in the front first. Negative 2, and then we have the cosine x, and then the sine x. And now we can pretty much do the same thing. I can take this integral to the u world. Integral of 2 sine x cosine x over, this is what? This time, the whole thing is u, right? The whole thing is u. So I'll write it down, just a u for the whole denominator. It's not like this anymore. So I should draw a line in between. dx is that, so I'll put this down, du over negative 2, and we have the cosine x, sine x. And you see, 2 and 2 cancel, sine and sine x cancel, and then cosine x, cosine x cancel, we still have this negative right here as well. Bring the negative to the front. So this time we have negative integral. This is 1 over u, du. And now, what's the integral of 1 over u? The answer to that is ln, absolute value of u. So this is going to be negative ln, absolute value of u inside. At the very end, u is that. So we'll bring it back. So this is going to be negative ln, absolute value 1 plus cosine square x, right? I haven't put down plus c yet because you see that cosine square x is always positive, but anything to a second power is positive. When you add 1 to that, still positive. When you have something that's inside of the ln, if you know this is always positive, you don't need the absolute value. At the very end, you can just write the answer as negative ln with a regular parentheses, 1 plus cosine squared x, and then we are done right here. Put a plus c at the end. That will be the answer.